set this up for bypass. We'll put the slicer in the up position. The slicer down light has gone off. Once it's all the way up, you can hit reset and hit start conveyor. To adjust the speed of the conveyor, you use the potentiometer right here. Slower. Faster. To restart the machine, pull your emergency stop off, hit reset, start conveyor. Set the slicer up to run, Put the slicer in the down position, slicer down light engages which allows air to the air clutch to be powered. To start the slicer, hit restart. Start slicer. Hit reset one more time. Hit start conveyor. There are two safeties, one on the end feed. This is running and I lift this up. Kills the machine. Right. After a safety fault to restart the machine, you go through the same steps. Reset. Start slicer. Hit reset again, start conveyor. The other safety sensor is on your lid. Open that, shuts everything off. Same steps to restart the machine. This handle changes the blade height on your machine to adjust the depth of your cut up and down. So as you can see right here, it's actually turning this and raising the entire slicer up and down. This knob here is for your pressure table belt height adjustment. So this changes how much your buns are going to be compressed by these belts right here. Pressure table belts are all the way up and you twist this knob to, raise, to lower the pressure table belts down closer to the product to compress the product as it goes through the blades. These knobs right here are what adjust your blades left and right. To adjust them, you have to have the slicer motor and the conveyor belt running. Loosen up this uh, locking knob and then you can go uh, clock, counterclockwise to go left, clockwise to go right. That works for all four of those. 